Feeling in My Bones by Lynn Coughlin. The boy runs through the wet blizzard on the hill. I'll put all my things in plastic bags and we can live anywhere. We'll be snail men, mum and me, and we'll live in the woods and sleep under the leaves and cook our tea in a frying pan over a real fire. Is it a steeplechase you're after entering, Sean Fergus O'Farrell? I was meandering among the trees, picking myself a lovely bunch of snowdrops. And then there's this desperate sound altogether. I thought I'd turn and find a herd of elephants thundering up my west hill, but no. It's just your sweet old self. Just my sweet old self. You're a sight for sore eyes, my lovely boy. Where have you been, Granny? Taking the air. Where did you take the air to? I took it to Manchester. They need some extra air in those busy streets. Why are you going to Manchester to live? Shall I take some air with me? Perhaps a little handful would be helpful. Gather it up now. You'll find the freshest is just on top of that newly fallen snow. Here? Yes, that's very fresh air. Take yourself up some now before it blows away. Will you still be here after we move, Granny? You could come and visit us on a bus. I believe there's a grand coach goes to Manchester with a video and all sorts of luxury items. They don't charge dead people. You could come for nothing. Even better! Nothing is so enjoy enjoyable as when it's free. And how you've been in yourself? I miss you. I miss you too. Do you know, I saw an awful thing the other day. I was lying up in some lovely snug tree talking with a badger about the terrible state of root vegetables this year. You climb trees? Of course I climb trees. And I see this poor man in the snow, two overcoats he had on him and a sack wrapped around his head, his poor old fingers torn and bleeding with the cold. And a boy calls him, a nice little boy. And the man's after thinking this boy wants to talk to him and he loves to talk. So he turns his face to smile at the boy but instead of returning his smile, the boy throws a stone at the man and it cuts his cheek right here. And the blood fell in the snow and the old man went away with tears in his eyes. I did it. But why would you do such a terrible thing like that, John? Because he's got no right here. He's an offcomer. This is our place. Look at my cheek. There's a scar. Someone threw a stone at me once too. Why? Ask your mother. She knows. Ah, the air's got a touch of damp in it now. It's time to be getting inside. <laughs> Goodbye, your sweet old self. Don't forget to ask your mother.